Hi there, I'm Mike, what I have for you today is Loot Gaming. Loot Gaming is provided to me by my friend Albert, or Albert, I've never really actually talked to him. He's just a guy that emailed me one day and asked me if he could buy me a Loot Gaming subscription, and I of course said yes. So thank you very much for the subscription. I think this is the last box, but there might be one more. I'm not entirely sure. I think I should have December. I'm pretty sure this is October. I honestly don't know because I haven't opened it yet. So let's go ahead and pop this open. I do think the last one I got, which was November's, was great, but I'm pretty sure I never got October's. So we'll see what this is. It could be really anything. It's like Schrodinger's box. Yes, this is absolutely October's crate. This is the sorcery crate. This is actually one I was looking forward to because I like sorcery games. If it's got magic, I'm in. They've been doing this little QR code thing. I've got it all up on my iPad already, but uh, I just want to point out that they do that now. Next, we have this nice little loot gaming dagger. It's just a, it's still a little dagger. I don't know if this dagger is from something or not. It's just a dagger. That's that's all, all that is, like a rogue something, but rogue's not really sorcery, is it? Like daggers aren't sorcery? Are they? Are daggers sorcery? Let me know down in the downstairs area. Do you consider daggers sorcery? Next, let's go ahead and try on the shirt because I love me some new shirts. Oh, it's Skyrim. All right. Oh, oh, well, it's not a bad shirt. The problem with things like this is guys that are shaped like myself, and I'm sure I'm not the only one out there shaped like this who's watching this channel. Things like this tend to accentuate curves, which is not necessarily always wanted, I guess. Instead of being a straight line all the way down, it's just sort of wavy. So it just goes to remind everybody that you're fat. So. Thanks, Loot Gaming, for reminding me that I'm fat. I'm working on it. Next, we have this little Daedric helmet replica. Another Elder Scrolls thing. I've never been super into Elder Scrolls. I know, again, it's probably blasphemy for a lot of people. It's not like I don't like it. I just think it's a little overrated. I'm also not a huge fan of open world RPGs. Like, I'll play them, but it's not my favorite genre. I don't like it when there's too much to do, if that makes sense. Basically, you can just kind of start the game and set off and just dick around doing whatever you want. You don't have to play the actual game if you want. And I don't like that because uh, I just like to play the story and I get lost doing other stuff. So if there's too much to do, I just can't figure out what to do. This is actually pretty nice. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. This is super nice. Very glossy. The paint is nice. The sculpting is nice. That actually is gonna look pretty rad on a shelf somewhere. Uh, next, I got an extra item in here that I don't think is supposed to be here. This is the Legend of Zelda item that I'm pretty sure was supposed to be in the August loot crate that I you know, didn't get. I wonder if that's what happened here. I wonder if they slipped, I don't know. Did you guys that got this crate, did you get a Legend of Zelda? I know what this is. This is a little uh, Link, which color did I get? I think I have the red one last time. This, now I've got blue. So I've got two different colors, so that's pretty nice. I had an idea that this was gonna be the, uh, the item here. I'm wondering if they slipped it in here to make up for not having it in the last box. But this is the Legend of Zelda little Link, Four Swords Link. If I get him close here, you can look, his eyes actually move back and forth when I move his head. It is a little creepy, I'll be honest. It's the smile he's got while his eyes move. That's what makes it creepy. That's the thing that makes it creepy. This is definitely not in the PDF that I looked at to see what's in the box. So interesting they slipped that into here and I'm genuinely curious to see if anyone else got one of these. And the last thing, and I saved this for last because uh, I hate it. Well, I don't hate it, I like it, but You'll see. If you don't know already, you'll see. I'll, I'll let you know why. I'm just gonna open it up. On the surface level, this is awesome. It's a little Dungeons and Dragons dice roller. You can roll it. what I get? I got an eight. Uh, the problem with this is that I actually have two now. This is a repeat item, not even from like a year ago. This is a repeat item from like two months ago. They just put this in two different boxes. It just, it's lazy. It's not a bad thing and having one is cool, but having two 
is unnecessary at best. I'll probably give one to a friend, but still, it kind of, it kind of sucks. It kind of sucks. I just dropped the die on the ground. I, ro I rolled an eight again. Oh, so that's the box. I'm gonna go ahead and get kind of this stuff together and I'll give you my thoughts on it in just a moment. Okay, so I think I've got a decent idea of what went down here. This box only has like three items in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It has the shirt. It has this thing, which is a repeat item, and it has this head thing on the paper. And then it has the pin, but the, I mean, the pin's not, it's usually there's five, there's four things and a pin, uh, which is, I, I think, acceptable. Three things and a pin is robbery. So I'm pretty sure they gave this little link guy in there from the uh, loot crate that it was supposed to be in into here to help beef out this because again, this guy is not in the PDF that I got, so he's not really supposed to be in the box. So that's that's what I think happened. I think that they snagged it from another box to beef this one out to make the value of this one a little higher. So I'm gonna go ahead and grade this as I see it, but keep in mind that this might not be in yours. I have no idea. I'm just grading the box that I got. Starting off with the shirt. The shirt is good, it's fine. I'll wear it. It actually fits pretty well. I like the navy color. I'm gonna give it a 0.75. I don't love it, but I, I like it. Number two, this little helmet thing. This thing's rad. Well, there's not really much you can do with it other than display it, but that's kind of how these little things go. I love it though, it looks great. I'm gonna give it the full point. Number three, we have the dice roller thing. This actually is my old one. My new one fell on the ground and I was too lazy to reach over and get it. Yes, that's how I live my life. Not that you can tell because they are the exact same, but this, this thing is a repeat item. I'm gonna give it a 0.25. It's cool. One would have been a full point, but the fact that I got two just kind of makes me a little upset. It's gonna make a good present for somebody, I guess, but that's the best thing I can do with it because nobody needs two of these things. And then lastly, the little link thing that fell on the ground that I just do not have the energy to pick up. It's fine, I've actually already gotten that before as well in a loot crate. I got a red one, so this one's a blue one, so it's 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 fine, I, I like it. I'll give it a 0.75, it's not great, but it's a fun little toy. And then lastly, the theme, slash this little dagger pin. The theme is sorcery, do these things fit? Zelda, yeah, that fits sorcery. Obviously Elder Scrolls, both items from Elder Scrolls fit sorcery. The Dungeons and Dragons dice roller, sure, absolutely. The only thing that really does it, in my opinion, is this little knife. I mean, I guess a sorcerer could wield a knife for nefarious purposes and things like that, but I just, a, a knife is not the first thing I think of when I think of sorcery. It's the first thing I think of when I think thievery or assassin. I just think they could have done a different iconic weapon if they were gonna do this. But all the things fit the theme pretty well. I am i don't hate this, I just don't think this fits the theme. I'll give it a 0.75. I kinda like the, the look of the little pin. So that leaves this box with a three and a half out of five. Now you might have scored it higher again if you've never gotten this before, but I scored it lower because I've gotten this before. But even then, it's actually a pretty decent box. I genuinely like this. Now it would have been a lot lower, obviously, had it not come with the link thing. Only having three real items in the box, uh, that would have been a little upsetting to say the least. So I'm glad they put the Legend of Zelda figure in here. It bummed me out that we didn't get it in the other box, but I'm sure they're doing the best they can, but it just feels like that's not quite good enough a lot of times. But that's it for my unboxing of the October Sorcery Loot Gaming Box. Let me know down in the downstairs area what you thought. Did you get this? Do you want to get this? If you want to get a box, there's a code down in the downstairs area that you can use to support my channel and get yourself a little deal on the box if you want to. If you don't, that's fine too. I'd also like to take a moment to thank these people here for supporting my channel on Patreon at an unboxing level or higher. Thanks a lot, guys. It really means a lot to me. If you want to see your name here, you can hit up my Patreon if you want to. If you don't, that's fine too. There's a couple of different ways down the downstairs area that you can support my channel with. It doesn't cost anything up to and including liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting the bell. All that stuff helps the channel out an awful lot. And that is it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.